All right, so now in the next form of the uh, standing work in San Kata, we have the attack from behind coming in as a, as a bear hug grasp. This is a very powerful form of attack for control to take people into an uranagi or to throw them back on their head. And so you must deal with the, the threat of this attack right off the bat. There's, if, you, if you wait for it to get locked down and try to, uh, oh, oh, he's already got me, and now you're trying to do a variety of things. Mm -mm -mm. It's probably a downhill journey. You may do some good stuff. There may be dropping forward forms to roll him over on his head, what have you, but it's, uh, it's a little dicier. So at this time, what we're looking at in the kata is to respond to the moment as the attack's coming on us. We have a little forward step with the left. We have a turning out function with the shoulders. Our shoulder action opens his, his hands wide and makes it difficult for him to get pressured down and in. Our posture stays up and forward, and we get an opportunity to make control right here on his top of his wrist. We lift that straight above our head with two hands, rotate 180 degrees, and we're immediately down into a nice coiling Tenkai Koda generic. So let's do it from the side here. For one, we want to make sure that we're responding before he's able to lock us down and in. He would like to curl our posture in and down this way. At, at that point, it'd be too late. So our posture stays upright and open. Our palms turn out, we're up, and we're down. Good. And maybe here. Here. Little forward step with the left foot, opening, lifting, straight above the head. This drops directly down to our hip as we turn to facing, but locking straight down. This is a powerful turning mechanism going all the way from the wrist to the elbow and the shoulder. So be very cautious with it, be very light. One more time here, here, up, make the wrist control, down, and in. Good. Thank you.